ideas live forever. Today we're talking Barbie. Yeah, really. I watched this, I did, and I enjoyed it. It was directed by Greta Gerwig, who co-wrote it with Noah Bombach. It stars Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, Simu Liu, America Ferreira, Will Ferrell, Shuta Gatwa, Connor Swindells, and Emma Mackey, all from Sex Education. The voice of Helen Mirren as a narrator, Rhea Perlman's in this. It's such a great cast, and everyone does a great job. I really enjoyed so much of this. But a bit of a backstory on me, because some people will probably know if you've watched it for a while that my, my ideas and gender are, you know, it's, it's, it's a fake concept. It shouldn't matter. You know, we all, I think, have traits one way or the other, if we're honest. And I don't think we should fit into two boxes. Sex, yes. Biological sex is not gender. That's an important point. Even with that, when I was growing up, yes, you know, I didn't play with the boys a lot. I you know, tended to play with the girls. I didn't roughhouse, as Americans would call it, or play fight. I didn't play football. All that kind of stuff. But I never played with dolls. I played with boy dolls that we call action figures. Because what promotes straight little hetero boys than giving them a manly, hunky guy to play with? This could go in a very creepy direction if I don't stop there. But you get what I'm saying. Nothing says straight better than playing with a hunk of man. But yeah, dolls was a thing that I never really played with. I think my sister had a rainbow bright that I occasionally involved, but nothing really much more than that. So I don't have an attachment to Barbie. Barbie doesn't mean anything to me growing up. But it was really funny. Us watching this was not a big conscious choice that we made. We both wanted to watch this because we, we like Margot Robbie um, and some of the other cast, of course. But we wanted to wait for it to be on home release um, rather than sort of a cinema thing. But then the more we saw about it, the more we were like, we've got to go and see this. And there was an adults only screening at like quarter to 11. So we went to that. And there were like five people in there who weren't us. But it was nice and quiet and there weren't kids running around. And I think that helped me enjoy it on every level. Because there's a lot of people who don't like this. They consider it you know, very woke and all that kind of stuff. They don't force anything down your throat, to be honest. There's a wonderful trans actress in this, and I'm only saying that to make it clear. Harry Neff. And she's in there as just another Barbie. If you don't know which one it is, I'm not going to tell you in case, you know, you, you only want to know because you're one of those kind of people. I don't, I don't pander to those. Leave, go somewhere else if you, if you have to. But yeah, that's the only thing. And they don't force it down your throat. They don't really force a bad message either. When people are saying, this isn't my Barbie, you know, she's meant to love Ken, all that kind of stuff. Change and growth is a human trait. If you think that this is a bad film because it doesn't match with something that's like 30, 40, 50, 60 years old. That's your problem, not the world's. There are genuinely women out there, by the way, I've, I've seen on video saying that kind of thing. Because this is a film for everyone. That is an important point. The trailer said, if you, if you love Barbie, watch this. If you don't like Barbie, watch this. I understand that now, 110%. That's hyperbole, I know. I like being accurate, but I mean it. This is a film for everyone. The core message here is not slap down the patriarchy because women need to rule the world. The message here is men suffer from the patriarchy too. This concept of toxic masculinity I think has been overused, but there's an element of it here. It, it is trying to tackle that as much as it is trying to tackle how women have to fight so much harder. There's a great speech by America Ferreira, and I probably can't put it in because it's too long, so I'm not even going to risk it. But it boils down to women are faced with so many contradictions. You have to be in charge, but not bossy. You know, all that kind of stuff. And it is true. This is a very real struggle for women. However, Ken's misunderstanding of patriarchy and taking it back to Barbie land is obviously meant to mock this kind of, you know, macho image. But it's also that he's only doing that because he thinks that that's a way to, to get recognised. I mean, technically, yes. What we originally had in Barbie land was a matriarchy. And the men were treated almost as bad as women have been treated in our world. As they have been, things have gotten better. And Ken's looking for something to break that mould. But he does it wrong, because he's Ken. He's just Ken. Anywhere else he'd be a 10. I had to put one in. 
it's it's an obligation but once it's all done and once we sort of get through it there's a great moment towards the end where will ferrell's saying you know i, I just want to like tickle my my friends in a boardroom you know like he's a ceo of mattel apparently and he wants to just have fun in a boardroom meeting and that was when it clicked this is saying that patriarchy harms men this idea that you must conform to a very stereotypical masculine model to function in the world or you're cast aside so even if you don't want to be like that you've got to wear that hat and yeah the moment that it said patriarchy hurts men too i was so on board but that's not the only thing this film does this is an existential film and again i remind you i'm talking about barbie behind me there's a scene of a pink car and barbie and ken singing on a road trip but there is so much of an existential element to this film that I can't not talk about it. I can't not mention it because it does matter. Barbie's whole thing is suddenly realizing who she is and that she wants more. It's, it's a common thing in, in us real humans too. And the fact that the Barbie movie has this, it, it made me cry. The Barbie movie made me cry. And not in, you know, these annoying right-wing idiots way who haven't probably even seen it or didn't pay attention properly and don't understand the language of film. But in a genuine, it touched me emotionally. I, you know, I've said some things that maybe have spoiled moments, but what I'm going to say next is a big spoiler for the end. And I think it needs to be seen without any foreknowledge to really have the impact. Tr trust me on this. So this is the spoiler warning. And my, yeah, my back of the box is obviously I love it. If you've watched this far and haven't got that, I don't think you should watch this film for the existential bits because you might not get it. But yeah, really, I enjoyed this. I really, really think it's worth seeing. But with that out of the way, let's get into the spoiler bit. So towards the end, Rhea Perlman is apparently the ghost of Ruth Handler. And I love it. I, I thought it when I saw it. I don't know why she's got an office in Mattel, but hey, this is still a weird fantasy film. But there's a whole conversation about if Barbie chooses to be human, what that comes with. You know, the 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 positives, the negatives, the ups, the downs. And there's a bit of music playing and a montage. And it just, it hit me. that this is a film about what it means to be human, to change and grow. And again, the people who are watching this and not understanding all the message, I, I don't understand how you've come away thinking it's woke propaganda. They don't make a whole, th they don't make a thing about it being a trans woman. They don't put it in your face, she's just there as anyone else. They don't do anything apart from say that the world as it is, is harmful to everyone. We need a better world where everyone is actually treated on a fair footing. And I mean equity. I say that a lot, you know, in videos. Equality is not the goal, equity is. Those who don't have an equal footing, get one. Whatever that means. That is what this film is about. As well as a fun romp with some amazingly talented and funny people. And by the way, in case you're curious, yes, Alan was a real thing. So <laughs> I'm going to end on that because I don't want to end on the heavy. It's, it's, it's beautiful. I do actually know I will end on something else because I was wearing this t-shirt um, when we saw it. And it's one that you might have seen in the Inaco video if you've watched that. I think that's on my other channel. Um, I did a metal remix kind of thing of it, basically. And it's a shirt a friend of mine made. Yes, I'm giving you the plug in this video, Scott, for some weird reason. But it's a combination of Junji Ito and uh, Total Eclipse of the Heart. But we were waiting for the bus to go uh, to, to, to the cinema. And this group of three people comes up, you know, probably a bit, you know, a few cups in, as we say. And it was just, you know, one of them was like, you're right, really forcefully, which set me on edge. My anxiety was like, okay, engaged. But then his mate kind of said, love the t-shirt, blah, blah, blah. And I was talking to him for a while and he was really lovely. And yeah, so this very creepy Junji Ito t-shirt, I'm not turning around. It, it's it's going to mess with like the background too much. But it says every now and then I fall apart. It's wonderful. Um, I might put a link to the Shopify if I remember by the time I put this video out in the description or in the pinned comments. And yeah, just go and have a look. There's probably something there you'll like. Uh, the guy is... You know, a dude. I, I, I do I do respect him. I do like him. Hopefully I'll watch this and appreciate the plug. But it's also in another couple of videos where I've worn it. 
that I've recorded, but I'm not going to point it out because you can barely see it. I really did enjoy Barbie. I enjoyed its message and did a random extra plug for someone at the end of the video. Maybe I'm changing and growing. But until next time, as always, thank you for watching and take care. I'm just kin, anywhere else I'd be a tin.